The only uncool Melly is a smelly Melly. Hey everyone, Steven here on My Life Outdoors. So, if you spend any amount of time keeping up with the outdoor industry, then chances are that you've heard of a little company called Melanzana. Melanzana hoodies are showing up everywhere. They retail for about $78, but they're being sold on eBay for upwards of sometimes $200. Personally, I own five different Melanzana products, and I've had people ask me, are they really worth the hype? So that's what we're talking about today. Is Melanzana worth the hype and the price tag? So let's find out. Why the hype? So you know how it's pretty much impossible to find a PS5 right now? Or remember back when Tickle Me Elmo's were being sold on eBay for thousands of dollars? Tickle Me Elmo is the hottest thing this Christmas. Sold out of stores everywhere. It seems like every year, right around Christmas time, there's this one hot ticket item that gets a lot of attention because it's so hard to find. Are these items ever really worth their overcharging price tags? Well, I guess something is always worth what someone's willing to pay for it. But why are people willing to pay two to three times the price when something really shouldn't cost that much? Well, it all comes down to supply and demand. The lower the supply, the higher the demand, and the higher the demand, the more that someone's willing to pay for it. That is basically what's happening to Melanzana perpetually. They have unintentionally created a low supply, high demand state by making one simple choice. And that is to only sell products in their one retail store located in Leadville, Colorado. That means the only way that you're gonna get your hands on a highly coveted Melanzana microgrid hoodie is to travel to Colorado and buy one in the store or pay out the nose on eBay. So one of the very first things you're gonna notice about the hoodie is just how soft and comfortable it is. The micro grip fleece just feels good against your skin and the loose fit is perfect for layering. I will note that the material does seem to be a little thin and it doesn't protect against wind very well, but I actually haven't found that to be a problem. And I haven't found it to be very cold. In fact, on most summer trips, it's the only warm layer that I take. The hood has a somewhat unique design. On most hoodies, the sides of the hood come together to form a V at the neck, but the Melanzani hoodie has a full circle, allowing this to function more like a gaiter around your neck than anything else. I've heard some people complain that the hood can kind of trap in heat around their neck when they're hiking in it with the hood down, but I actually haven't found that to be a problem. I actually find it to be loose enough that it provides enough air to allow your neck to breathe. But my favorite feature of the Melanzani hoodie is the large kangaroo pouch. At night when I'm just milling around camp, I find it so convenient to carry things in this pouch. I've put everything from my gloves to my cook set to my Helinox Chair Zero in this thing. Now, does it carry all that very well? No, but I still do it. But is it worth it? So strictly from a product standpoint, there's nothing really about the Melanzana microgrid hoodie that makes it technically superior to any other fleece mid-layer. It's just Polartec microgrid fleece sewn into a hoodie with a large kangaroo pouch and a unique hood design. There's really not much else to it, but that's not the point. You see, Melanzana isn't trying to be innovative here. They were founded on the idea of selling local gear made simply and affordably. Melanzana was created for rafting guides, ski instructors, hikers, and dirt bags, people who didn't care about brand name and just needed affordable gear that worked. And that's the rub. You see, it, it was intended to be affordable. But since I bought my Melanzana, prices have gone up almost $20 to the current retail price of $78. And while I think you could argue that's still affordable in today's outdoor retail market, it's not what it used to be. But then you also have to remember that you're talking about a small company that's dealing with a pandemic and, and they're trying to pay employees who live in expensive mountain towns. And to be honest with you, that's what attracted me to Melanzana in the first place, that it was made and sold right there in Leadville, Colorado. You see, I grew up going to Leadville, Colorado. It's where I learned to ski. I, I've hiked there many times. I've stayed in the Leadville hostel nearly every year since I was in high school. Leadville, in a lot of ways, feels like a second home to me. And Melanzana is 
a part of Leadville. When you see someone in a Melanzana hoodie, it's like you are in the same small town club, assuming that you didn't buy it on eBay. It means that you have both stood in the same place, that you both value local cottage-made gear, even if you aren't a local, and you both love the outdoors. If you see someone wearing one and you say, hey, nice Melly, you are signaling that you are in the know, that you have a shared experience, and that, I think, is the appeal and why you should buy one. Not because it's popular or because it's the best, but because you know it's quality. It's affordable. It was made ethically by employees that are treated well from a company that is resisting economic exploitation. You know their CEO is not getting paid 20 times what their employees are. That's why you should buy one, but only if you're willing to travel to Leadville and buy one in person. So what do you think? Is Melanzana worth the hype? Do you own a Melanzana? If so, tell me what you think and let me know in the comments below. If you made it this far, you obviously like this video, so please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already and follow me on Instagram at MyLifeOutdoors. And as always, thanks for watching.